Today I want to start out ponderings with a riddle. What is smaller than a baseball, but one of the most powerful things in the world? When we think about powerful things in the world, what might come to mind is a volcano, a hurricane, a derecho, a tsunami, or nuclear power. But the answer to the riddle is the tongue. Proverbs 18.21 says, Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat its fruits. The tongue has the power of life and death. Now that's a lot of power. James 3 compares the tongue to the bit in a horse's mouth, the rudder of a large ship, and a spark that sets forth a forest fire. All of those items are small, but they have control and influence over big things. I want to invite you to think about how powerful your tongue is. With it, we can build people up or we can tear them down. Proverbs 12, 18 says, There is one whose rash words are like sword thrusts, but the tongue of the wise brings healing. What a graphic picture of the power of the tongue. Our words can be like the thrust of a sword wounding others in their spirit, or they can be a source of healing and encouragement to the one we speak to. Proverbs 16, 24 reads, Gracious words are like a honeycomb, sweetness to the soul and health to the body. Our words can be a life-giving balm to those around us. Proverbs 12, 25 says, Anxiety in a man's heart weighs him down, but a good word makes him glad. There are plenty of people walking around who are stressed out for any number of different reasons. Sometimes a simple word of encouragement or hope can change their perspective. Psalm 3730 reads, The mouth of the righteous utters wisdom, and his tongue speaks justice. Friends, can I empower you a bit today? Because of your faith and life experiences, you have some wisdom to share with those around you, including the younger generation. Don't keep all that wisdom to yourself. When it's the right time and right place, share it. The tongue is so important and can do so much good and so much damage. The psalmist's prayer found in Psalm 141.3 is one we can pray. Set a guard, O Lord, over my mouth. Keep watch over the door of my lips. May the Lord guard our mouths so that what we say builds others up and glorifies Him. We won't always get it right, but we can ask God's forgiveness and pray that He would do a work of grace in this area of our lives. Press on in the Lord.